Um, I need to show you how I made the stand so it stands up. It's kind of like um, like a potted plant or a potted bush. So I have this forest foam left over. So I cut this down into size, but basically all I do is I use a um, knife and I just carefully cut about a one inch section. See how easy it is. And then about a one inch square. There we go. And these I'll save. Um, this is very dusty, I found, but but it works great for holding up when I need to hold it for. Okay, so dowel rod you can buy um, in the wood section in the craft store. Um, they either come in bags where they have the long sections. Um, this dowel rod is like a quarter of an inch, or you can buy them in smaller pieces. Like they had these little cute little um, forts that... Um, like little wood forts and they had a little set so I just like the pieces for that so I'll, I'll use this one and all I do is I pop a hole in there so it makes it easy and then all I have to do is just stick it in like this see I just stick it into the forest foam and so I'm going to check in my um height wise because I might have some in the far in the back section so Anyway, so that's how I got it to stand up. Um, if you don't have floors foam, I mean, you could use um, foam board and make a little square and just hot glue it together. That's another way. I thought about doing that way, but I had so much of this floors foam, so I decided to do that. Okay, all right. Hey everybody, so I am working on this garden and I posted like in the beginning you saw like a video of it, but I've been making these pl paper plants for added details to the foreground and then there'll be more bushes in the background, but um, I thought I'd share how I made these. These are super easy to make, so um, I have some of the other, yeah, the little hedges in the front and they are just, yeah, I had a lot of fun making these. Um, I also use them to make um, some miniature flowers. So in this garden, let's see if I can carefully pull this out. So I also made like these little um, paper hydrangeas that go in the back. So they're actually very easy to make. And so um, I wanted to do a little tutorial on specifically the hedge because I have to continue to make and fill this up. So how do we, what are the supplies you need? Okay, so I have a hot glue gun. Um, I have a paper plate just so I don't have hot glue everywhere. Um, if you are going to do like the round hedge that I did, I went and I went to Hobby Lobby and I got these styrofoam balls. They're great for making more of a rounded hedge. Um, if you want a hedge that is more, um, kind of rounded rectangular I use the the floors foam so they sell them in big blocks um, and then I shave them down to size using a um, just a steak knife um, just a knife to cut it and it's super easy to to cut with anyways so but I'm gonna do it for this round hedge right here. Um, I also needed a little bit of a dowel rod and I used the foam for this one to stick in place. Um, regular glue, pair of scissors, um, a pencil I needed. Um, the kind of paper I'm using, uh, you want a paper. When you look at this, this is a, um, it, it's, you could use like a colored um, copy paper, but I like this paper because of the texture on it and also because it felt like you could see the fibers in the paper so it felt more plant-like and it looked more organic so the specific kind of paper i used i'm going to show you here they sell it at dick blick and so this is um called emerald green oops sorry emerald green right here um, and it's the Lamali paper and they comes in a wide variety of colors. It varies in price around $5.50 a sheet-ish. Um, 
yeah, so this is the paper I've been using, and I just bought a lot of it, so I'd have lots of different colors. I'm also using, um, for the leaves, I just use scrap of paper um, for that. Now, as far as the greenery, I did use, instead of using paper, I guess I could have cut up some paper really thin, but I found this at Michael's, and I'm sure they sell it at Hobby Lobby, but it's just um, this clean moss yeah they sell it in the floor section now granted it's making a mess everywhere but yeah so but yeah they just it they sell like clean moss <laughs> so funny that you can buy stuff like that anyways it, i always feel like it's like cooking like there was like herbs or something i guess if you wanted to you could use something like some cheap herbs i guess it might smell a little bit better okay so how do I make these? These are actually, if you look on this side of it, you can see they're just rolled pieces of paper. Um, so I'm going to show you how I cut the paper, roll it, and then um, also you can kind of see that I've added some color to it. So I'm going to continue building off of this one that I have. I'm going to put my flat thing out of the way. I'll move this out of the way as well. Let's it up. All right, so I eyeball this. I'm not a perfectionist by any means, but I just use a regular pair of scissors. And then I also have the smaller set of scissors, um, but you could use one pair of scissors. So you can see on here, I've cut it pretty clean. I do about an inch. Um, this styrofoam ball that you see, these are number two foam balls that I used. So these are about, about, yeah, it seems like about two inches in diameter. So I cut these strips and all I'm doing is I cut like one inch strips of this paper and I just eyeball it. I guess if you really want to be particular, you could measure out an inch like that. Okay, so I've got one strip. I needed more anyways. Okay, and then the next thing I do is I get some pastel. Oops, forgot. So I wanted it to have kind of like the tones like you would see like on holly plants, um, holly bushes. And so like there's the ones that I like have a little bit of red. So I'm just using the pastel to color one side of it. And I just run it down the whole length of the one inch strip. And then all I have to do is just use my finger and I blend away from the edge all the way down like that. Anyway, so I have a few already done. So voila. So, okay. So what I'll do is I'll fold it in half because I don't need to be quite this long. So I fold it in half use my scissors and cut it in half again all right then I'll bundle these together and then what I'll do is I have these smaller scissors these are my favorite cutting scissors that I got from Michaels they're Tim Holtz scissors these work great um I line up the edges and then the side that I have the red because that's the side that faces out I'm going to hold it really tightly and then I'm just going to card cutting. Okay, so this is where we do like the speed up part in the video. I'll speed this up. Just go all the way down.
right, I pre-made a lot of these little rolled pieces of paper, so I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna start hot gluing and hopefully I can fill out the rest of this hedge. Okay, so I have this part done. Um, I am not doing the backside because I don't need the backside done. But if you wanted to, you could finish out the whole thing. Um, but yeah, because I'm only photographing it from one side, this is good. So anyways, yeah. So now I'm going to make a base so that this can hold up because the one side is very heavy and it's like wanting to topple over. So I'm going to use some air dry clay for that part. <laughs> 